everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I'm up with a video that is very, very, very late <laughs> for the October Craft IQ Hop, which normally goes out on the 20th of October, so I it's very late. I will leave a link in the description box to the others who played along this month, but I won't be linked in their description box because I am, as I said, really late. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, the Craft IQ Hop is a Facebook group. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. And basically you get um, a challenge or a recipe. Um, it's seven sort of things we need to include um, on our layouts. So the first prompt is to use the photo in the top right corner of this layout as sort of inspiration. So there was journaling. It was obviously the year 2016, um, those big letters. I sort of took inspiration from the colours of the pattern paper and the vertical design. So, yeah, it's a loose interpretation, but it's there. <laughs> so you can see I'm using Coco Vanilla Studios Happy Days. Is that what it's called? Let me just double check. I think it's Happy Days. These days. These days? These days. These days. Um, and so I've got the papers, some papers there. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I really like this layout. I really like it. Now I pulled some six by eight papers. So you can see I've had to piece two of them together to create a full um, 12 by 12 strip going across my page. And I'm going with this vertical, as I said, vertical design. Uh, the prompt number two is torn paper. So I have torn the edges of my pages there. Um, and so that's how I'm going with the torn pages prompt. And I'm just thinking I'd really like to include these thickers as like an extra sort of line down the page. Uh, and their numbers, just like in the prompt, that the photo prompt, which I know it's just disappeared, but I didn't want to leave it up for the whole day. Uh, sorry, for the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> for the whole layout the whole video um so yeah that was funny sorry uh, but I did think that I wanted to use those thickers just to create a little bit of gold peeking through so that illusion of another line of, of paper so to speak um and so that's what I'm doing I haven't done this before it just I don't know how it came to me it just came to me <laughs> and I am really really happy with it so great tip if you want to use up thickers um yeah, great tip. I probably could have used something other than the numbers. I do use the numbers in my December daily, um, but I have a lot of thickers and I only do December daily once a year. <laughs> so, you know, it's fine. <laughs> so you can see here I have laid out my thickers and now I'm going to add uh, another strip of the torn patterned paper, sort of overlapping the thickers. So it's just a tiny bit peeks through. Um, and then I'm just going to keep layering up my papers uh, I do have to come back and cut, yeah, I'm doing it now, cut the end off that uh, six. I think it was a number six or a number nine, um, just because I knew it would be too, would create too much dimension. So I did that. <laughs> um, so here, just adding my torn paper strips. Um, yeah, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'll read you through the other prompts, uh, but I'll also cover them as I sort of get to them in my layout. So um prompt number one was the mood board or the, the picture as inspiration prompt number two was torn paper prompt number three was a long title prompt number four was to fold the paper somehow so you'll see i do that at the end uh prompt number five is to add flair which was really 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 difficult for me and i'll tell you why when we get there <laughs> prompt number prompt number six was to add leaf leaves or leafy bits to the page and then prompt number seven was doodling so I get them all on but uh, certainly the flare I had a lot of trouble with <laughs> uh, I don't have flare really uh, I always shied away from it because it was bulky uh, but as my scrapping has evolved <laughs> uh, it is no more bulky than now the other things that I do on the page adding you know foam and things like that so um, I just I only have flair uh, from Coco Vanilla Studio and even then not from all of the collections that were released with flair, if that makes sense. So I had to pull the only flair piece I could find on short notice, which was from the Midnight Collection, Coco Vanilla Studio. So I do get it on the page, but yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a struggle to find. 
Now I'm just roughing up the edges here. My photo is just a cute photo of Lincoln. He's on a swing. I'm pretty sure this was in the middle of one of our, well, we've been, feels like we've been in lockdown for ever. Um, but I'm pretty sure we were definitely in lockdown, um, but we were able to go to parks and we were just exploring some of the local parks we hadn't been to yet. Um, yeah, so he was happy to be out and about. It was cold, it was wet, but yeah, it was still fun. Um, now, this is my long title. So I used the Happy Days, which was from the Ephemera Pack. And then my title is Happy Are My Days With You. Um, it's already stuck down, but... I think I probably would have preferred my days are happy with you. Uh, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I didn't think of that while I was doing this. So there we go. Um, now, I've got this large floral piece that I'm going to add to the bottom right. So I'm sticking that down uh, and just tucking it underneath my thickers there. Um, I've got a little word strip I want to add uh, and then I'm just going to play around with my other clusters. I'd already pulled out the things I knew I wanted to use or I thought I wanted to use. So I'm just playing around with how those clusters might work. Um, again, florals. I went with florals because the prompt was add, to add leaves or leafy bits. So I pulled out the leaves <laughs> or the leafy bits from the ephemera pack uh, from these days and I added it. <laughs> And the floral down the bottom also has leaves as well. So I'm going with it. I've got that little tab that says so lovely. And I add another little tab up on top of the photo that gives me room to put the date, which is cute. Now I'm just going to pop up my ephemera. And this was a pretty quick layout to come together, I have to say. And as I said, I am very pleased with my thickers. In hindsight, I should have added a little gold thicker where I do my little paper fold just to bring it into three places on the layout but it's okay I'm still very happy with it <laughs> which is probably the reason why I'm posting this video even though it is so late I had actually made my video in plenty of time for the hop um, I was very proud of myself uh, I said this in my copa video that I think went up before this video I don't remember but my son had a possible COVID exposure at his daycare, had to isolate for two weeks. I couldn't work because he was at home. Um, even though I was working from home, it was just way too hard to try and work with a 2.5-year-old, a two and a two-and-a-half-year-old at home. So I took the two weeks off um, and I thought I would get, you know, a lot of scrapping done. No, nah, not a thing. <laughs> it was really difficult to do other things, even though obviously he still naps. Um, during the day but I just had other stuff I had to do <laughs> um, so yes it was very tricky but we got there he's back at daycare everything was fine there was no more cases he was fine we were all fine um, but yeah it was definitely a long <laughs> a long couple of weeks <laughs> and I didn't get anywhere near as much crafting done as I would have liked but that's okay so I am popping up a couple of my ephemera pieces on foam. This layout gets a little more dimensional than I would normally do, but that's okay because I try not to do it very often and I just really liked this one. <laughs> I love this collection. I mean, Coco Vanilla Studio makes beautiful collections. Australian company, which I love, but I know how popular they are overseas as well. Um, yeah, very excited. They've got a new Christmas collection coming out. Super keen about that. <laughs> Um, just excited all around for whatever these guys and um, whatever Zoe from Coco Vanilla Studio releases I'm, I'm there I am there with bells on it's like my auto buy company you know how we always have those we all have those mine is Coco Vanilla Studio hands down so as I said I'm just adding uh, some foam to my title just to the happy days part of my title just so it's the same um, kind of level as the thickers it just looked a bit funny to me having the happy and the days kind of stuck flat onto the page um, and then I'm going to finish off my last cluster and then I've still got my fold and my doodling to do don't worry I haven't forgotten oh and the flare I need to add the flare but it's okay they all get onto the page I promise um, yeah those things aren't well the flare was difficult but the doodling and the the fold is okay you can um, and the fold you could have taken in lots of different ways I actually haven't been able to watch everybody's videos yet uh, but I am looking forward to going back and watching them all to see how the others have taken all of these prompts that's the best part about this hop because everybody gets the same prompts but you just create such different layouts 
Um, it's similar to a Grab 5 concept wise, but the prompts are usually a little more um, specific. So rather than, you know, grabbing five different types of product to put onto the page, you know, they are more specific prompts. Um, and I've, re- I've really enjoyed it. It's, yeah, it's a great concept. So I will link to the Facebook group. Jackie um, started it. And so, yeah. I'll leave all the links down below so you can come and join us. Uh, you don't need to make videos. You don't need to have Instagram. Nothing like that. You can you can pop layouts into the Facebook group. There's albums to share in. Uh, you do not need to be a content creator <laughs> to participate. Everybody is welcome. So what am I doing here? Just adding the last little bits. And then I think I'm just going to figure out how to do my fold. So I'm going to fold up there. Fold my piece of paper in the, the top Uh, left corner there and I'm just figuring out which pattern paper I would like to have underneath there in the end I do go with the dark blue I don't know I just because it was closest um like that the dark blue pattern paper obviously um is the first strip in my vertical strips of pattern paper it just seemed to work but any of the colors would have worked to be honest um so I'm adding that to the corner I do get my little tiny attacher and do a couple of staples even though I don't have them anywhere else I just it's just an easy way to keep that fold down and then I do want to tuck something into that fold now here is where I probably could have tucked another thicker Uh, I didn't even think about it until now doing the voiceover that that probably would have looked pretty cool but ultimately I pull out a couple of bits from the ephemera kit um, that are small. So a little tiny leaf and two little mini florals and just pop one up on foam and, and stick the others flat. Um, and then I just need to do my doodling and we are done. So I will do a doodly border, which I know is a bit of a <laughs> uh, the easy the easy way to take that prompt, but it's effective. It works. There's really no way that you can stuff it up. You can see my lines are all over the shop. Um but it works you know it it totally works um so you can see here i go super wonky but because it's a doodly border it's all about imperfection in my opinion (laughs) Um, and i'm really happy with it so that is it we are done thank you oh no i do splatters gosh how could i say we are done of course we do splatters i have got my uh, i think Funnily enough, I'm not using Heidi Swap Color Shine. I think this is the Nouveau Mica Mist in Midnight Horizon, which I should use up my Navy Heidi Swap Color Shine, but I don't know why. I think this one was just closer to me, so I grabbed it. <laughs> and then my gold Heidi Swap Color Shine, of course. No. Gosh, why do I say of course? I've used up my gold Heidi Swap Color Shine. My gold uh, Nouveau, no. Marabou Art Spray. It's an acrylic um, mist, acrylic ink, acrylic, whew, acrylic spray in gold. And that's it. We are done. So stay tuned. Here's a close up. Thank you so much for watching. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. Um, yeah, please come and join us. It's a fun hop to be a part of. And I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you. Bye.